We've got a new infantry rally on its way to Rise of Kingdoms, and this thing looks disgusting. The infantry rally meta's back. We had this in the past with Tarek Ibn Ziyad, and now with Scipio Emilianus, the third Scipio we've had in the game. Yeah, uh, infantry rallies are going to be destroying things. Ah, and it's funny, there's a counter. We'll get there, okay? Infantry conquering and the new smite talent tree on the new CPO is pretty exciting. By the way, you may notice the slight change in scenery. I got this other microphone over here, different camera. I am traveling, I'm at a wedding. And uh, yeah, no, of course, info drops while I'm traveling. This is how it goes, but whatever, that's not what you're here for. You're here for the skills. The active skill, 1000 rage requirement, 2700 damage factor. Bro, that is gross. That is a lot of damage factor, it's single target, so for a rally, that's really the thing you wanted. AOE is good for hitting the swarm or the reinforcers, but like, at the end of the day, like, hitting reinforcers is cute, inflicting dead troops is the W. So that's what you're here for, single target damage. And it makes the target take 20% more damage for three seconds, which is disgusting. So you know that this needs to be the primary commander in your rally combo. Now, why is it a rally combo? Because the next skill, Hunt Master makes it so that you get 20% march speed for infantry when you are outside Alliance territory. Bit of a yikes. Kind of sucks for things like, you know, defending your territory. <laughs> uh, it's really good in Canyon, really good in Ark of Osiris. But the second part of this skill, when this commander is leading a rally attack, all infantry get 30% hit points. That sucks for open field. I think he's going to be possibly usable in the open field if the smite talent tree ends up being just completely busted otherwise um probably he's just going to be a rally and you'll see why in just a bit here we'll get there dawn of rome this commander's troop deals five percent more normal okay i mean five percent what are we talking about that's very little um and whenever their troop is hit with a basic attack it is a 30 percent chance to dispel all health and defense debuffs currently affecting it that's nevsky XY, I guess, does a defense reduction, and you've got Skippy Prime doing a health reduction. All right, I mean, there's Gilgamesh. Nobody's using Gilgamesh anymore for a health reduction, right? It will also gain immunity to health and defense debuffs for three seconds, and it will take 25% less normal damage, okay? And that is a cooldown of five seconds. So this triggers based on your being hit by basic attacks, which means in some ways, this is an anti-swarm-ish mechanic. I say ish because it is a normal attack damage taken reduction. So it is a effect similar to what you, I think, see on like Henry reducing your normal attack damage. We know this is good as an anti-swarm, all right? But we're not done because from here, the salt of the earth. If this commander's troop is attacking a city or a stronghold, Whenever their troop launches a basic attack, it is a 50% chance to inflict the following effects for two seconds. The target loses 25% attack and defense. And if this commander is serving as the troop's primary commander, it will also be silenced for the two seconds. Bro has a silence. This will work if you are swarming a city or stronghold, AKA a flag, a fort. And this has a cooldown of five seconds but it has a 50% chance to trigger. So every six seconds, you're going to silence them for two seconds on average? Is that how that's gonna work? I mean, this is like some serious napkin math, but like that is disgusting. That is insane. And it's really funny because like, how do you counter the silence? If only in the history of Rise of Kingdoms, we'd ever gotten a garrison commander that was immune to silence. Oh, wait, just use Attila. <laughs> so Gorgo Attila was meta, has been meta. You need to use a uh, artifact to switch the troop type over, right? You could use Attila as the primary, make it a cav garrison. You could use Attila as the secondary, make it an infantry garrison with the Gorgo, all right? But as it turns out, here we are again, again. In 2024, if you can believe it, looking to use Attila as a counter, GG. Of course, we're not done. Tit for tat. Whenever the current target of this commander's troop uses an active skill, this commander's troop gains rage 40% faster for the next two seconds. So that means that whenever your enemy 
manages to use an active skill. Weird anti-synergy here with the silence. Then you gain rage. So if they're doing something cool, then you're doing something cool. And the rest of the time, you're going to have them silenced. Um, yeah, this is really, really powerful as a rally. I mean, we're going to see probably this version of CPO paired with Wallace, maybe paired with Liu Che. Okay, maybe with an artifact paired with Attila. But we're going to see this be a meta rally, I suspect. It just feels too powerful. I mean, look, 2700 damage factor plus make the target take 20% more all damage. So whatever commander you use as the secondary, you want to hit really hard, which is why I would think a high skill damage commander, like even, you know, Smite would work, uh, like Wallace, big single target damage could be cool. Let me show you that real quick. So as you may recall from the William Wallace reveal, he's doing 2400 damage factor, which is amazing. And by the way, he deals extra smite damage to up to three enemy troops currently attacking this commander's troop. So he'll do an extra 300 to what, you know, the garrison, it's going to be hitting him. Like you're going to be tanking with this rally, presumably. So yeah, I mean, as a combo, these two are probably going to be the rally and it's probably going to be really strong. Uh, this commander's troop takes 10% less normal damage. And whenever this commander's troop deals smite damage with a damage factor greater than 1,000, there's an 80% chance that the damage will be increased by 40%. So if you hit with that 2,700 damage factor and it's increased by 40%, seems good. <laughs> it's got a 10 second cooldown though. So it is what it is. Uh, and there's also a 10% boost to smite damage and normal damage. I mean, I'll say this expertise is kind of sus. Like, I don't know that this is doing a whole lot for you. Dispelling slow effects. Yeah, actually, you know, I don't know. We'll have to do some testing to figure out, okay, what are the rally combos really going to be? So jumping in game real quick, just to talk about the combos that you might use here. I think you're probably going to be looking at for like your best open field combo. Maybe it's Wallace and Liu Che. Could still be the original Skippy Prime and Liu Che paired together for one infantry combo. If you go to two infantry combos, you're probably still looking at Guan with Skippy, and then Wallace with Liu Cha, or a lot of people, they'll just continue to use Liu Cha and Alexander the Great. And if you were going to a third infantry march, which generally I wouldn't recommend to most people, two for most troop types is the way to go. Historically, it's been cavalry and archers that really get to enjoy lots of really good open field commanders. You'd probably be looking at this and say, okay, we like Skippy paired with Guan. But from there, you could probably do a couple smite combos. You could use Wallace with Gorgo, which I think could be good in the open field. And then you do new Skippy Emilianus with Liu Che, and that gets you the smite tree as the primary for two pairings, which could be really good. It all depends on how good that smite tree is, and if that is worth offsetting the deficits you're gonna get, which are non-trivial, by the way, by virtue of this sort of rally and garrison related skills that are committed on CPO Emilianus, which like, I don't know, losing out on 30% health seems like kind of a big deal. And when it comes to rallying, we could just look very briefly at the prior infantry rally champion here. It's Tadek Ibn Ziyad. Is he doing anything that would be, I don't know, viable with a smite commander? Maybe. Deals direct damage to the target troop. 2,500 damage factor. If this commander's troop is surrounded, you deal extra damage factor, upwards of 900 damage factor. Okay, that's actually fine. Next skill, infantry units get 40% attack and deal 10% more damage to calves. Outside of territory, you get 10% faster. That's fine. Okay, next skill. If this commander is attacking a city or stronghold, you get 30% defense. Whenever their troop launches a basic attack, you have a 30% chance to reduce the target's normal damage. You know, given that Gorgo Attila is the counter, reducing the normal seems really good. Okay, wait, hold up. Is this the answer? This commander's troop deals 15% more damage, and whenever their troop launches a basic attack, 10% chance to reduce the target's rage by 80 per second for three seconds. Dude, I, I actually think the play might be <laughs> 
to use Scipio Emilianus with Tata given Ziad. And the expertise, by the way. What do we have here? Ah, this is enhancing the active skill. All right. Yeah, I think this is actually surprisingly synergistic. Big single target damage. The last thing I want to point out here with the Smite Talent Tree and Tarek Ibn Ziyad is that he's reducing rage by 80 per second for three seconds. But whenever this commander's troop deals any type of smite damage, all troops hit by that damage lose 45 rage. I mean... Gosh, both of these guys doing these rage reductions could be really good. I don't know. There is some, uh, let's see, whenever this commander's troop deals any type of smite damage, there's a 30% chance that damage will be increased by 10%. Yeah, I mean, maybe with this smite tree, you really do need to pair two smite commanders together. And like, hey, we got some good options for it. And I'll test all this stuff as soon as it lands in game. It's all going to get maxed. I'm an inf man. I'll probably just max the rally right away. So if you want to see those live streams, consider subscribing. I've covered every commander that drops into the game with the exception of the ranged commanders. Although I didn't even max out the first couple on my farm account back in the day. That's, I mean, been a pretty big waste. I thought I'd run around with my farm and, you know, like also set up towers, places. I Ain't mean, nobody's got time to manage all that, you know, fighting on the main and then doing that, it's too much. But if you want to see more information about William Wallace, I covered that in depth, along with a review of this talent tree. Cards will be up on the screen right over here in just a second. Click into those videos. I think you'll find them helpful.